So why Domino Bot? Why? Um, Domino Bot actually started um, oh, about three, four years ago now with um, a book. As part of ten, ten people that. Uh, Your book? No, it was uh, by Syngress. They asked uh, ten of us to build robots. Okay. And uh, that was what the original uh, Mindstorm set. Uh, it was 1.5, I think, at the time. And uh, the book was titled Ten. Ultimate, 10 cool Ultimate Builder sets, LEGO Mindstorms. So you took the LEGO Mindstorms kit plus the Ultimate Builders add-on. Okay. And um, the idea was to build anything you wanted to, right, with that, with those parts. So I came up with Dominobot then. Um, and it's gone through about four or five iterations now to the NXT version. So I had to put the challenge into the studless technology side of things in this guy. I found it was actually easier to, um, to construct uh, the studless parts together with the NXT than it was with the, the previous version, and uh, in addition to that, this, this has been mentioned before, but these motors are servo motors and they have built-in rotation sensors, right. right? So you get an additional three sensors automatically with those motors that you didn't have before, and um, I use those in all my motors. What about the size of the robot compared to the old version? Um, actually, the size is about the same. Uh, however, it is actually lighter than the old, old one was, uh, and not as bulky. The old one was more bulky because I used a lot more studded beams to connect everything, whereas this, you can build, you know, the jail cell type of idea um, in the structure. And it's a lot stronger too. I mean, the old ver version, you didn't have the strength to to be able to <laughs> lift it up from the top and, and not have it fall apart. So everything on this robot is basically um, uh, connected together in such a way that it doesn't easily come apart. So that's that's kind of key with the uh, the new uh, studless building in the NXT. Cool. You think it'll work? Yeah. Let's fire it up and give it a go. Let's try your luck here. Doing a bit of thinking right now. It's calibrating the light sensor. Oh, that's pretty oh. Right, the next one. There we go. So it kind of shoves that domino forward a little. Yeah, that's what I got to work on. Is getting that timing <laughs> just right because it'll it'll knock them down at some point because it's uh oh, it's a little bit off there. Let's try it from here. Gonna have a hard time right there. Because <laughs> of that old yeah. bolt in the table there. And the light sensor, I mean, how does that play a part? Uh, the light sensor detects the white. Okay. So, so it knows it, that the domino is ready to, to put down. Yeah. Like it, in the, it, when it first starts, it actually does a calibration to read. Um, you see all these shadows? Yeah. They're kind of key because all those shadows, the robot moving like this, all plays uh, a role in that light sensor taking the reading from all the ambient light going on. So it needs to kind of regulate that or average it out to a norm. And then what we do is we basically go at norm plus 10 to actually come up with this. So it knows that that is actually different. That is a different reflectivity than that table does, and even though they're both white. So. Oh yeah, that's pretty neat. What, uh, this wasn't NXTG, was it? No, this was Robot C. Okay. Uh, the original version I did in NXTG, and that was the three motor version. Right, the one that. Out of the, ending, uh, uh, the default set. But um, the motor mux doesn't work with NXTG, does it? That's right. Not yet, as far as I know. But right now, you need to have a third-party language to actually use that as an addition. What do you think of that language? Pretty good. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. Really? I'm waiting for uh, Brick XCC, uh, Brick CXS, or whatever it was, to come out with the not quite C version. So, because it's going to be the same game, there, right? I use a Mac, so I don't know about Robot C. <laughs> yeah. Maybe someone will port it. Hopefully, yeah.